Lange's Music's resident genius, the one and only Chris Calico, Cali Bang. So, Kicking and Screaming was your most successful album, solo album to date. What contributed to that success? Uh, I would have to say um, the music, first of all, because uh, you know, if the music is good, man, it'll spread, you know what I'm saying? It'll spread, it'll take its own life. Um, you know, in the world. And uh, secondly, you know, I had this idea to shoot a video for like every song. Now, I didn't quite make it to every song, but I shot a lot of videos. And so uh, it ended up, uh, you know, it, it, I ended up getting lots of views on YouTube. I really think that was the difference maker. And now all the strange music artists shoot videos to a lot of songs. You know what I'm saying? So I like to usually consider myself a trailblazer anyway, man. So, you know, uh, doing that, it enabled my um, record sales to double. My record sales doubled for any album I ever put out. Okay. Uh, Sun and Sam is due well at the end of July. Now we switched the date. It's been pushed back. It's been pushed back to August 27th. Okay. Is there a reason for the delay? Uh, well, Tex album, uh, it got pushed back. Whenever you... Whenever they start to think of consider pushing the text albums back, if my release is anywhere near it, they usually do mine too. Cause we usually strategically release our albums kind of by each other, but you know, far enough apart not to affect record sales. So that was why. What can we expect to hear on that album? On Son of Sam, I, I sang a lot more. Uh, I just been getting a lot of requests on Twitter and Facebook to do a lot more singing, so. I sang more than I normally, well, I did more songs that just have singing in them without rapping. Um, and so, you know, and I always try to kind of reinvent myself on uh, every album. And I also, my albums always reflect how I'm feeling at the time. That's why you get Unstables. That's why you get the Bipolars. And then that's why you get the club songs, the dance songs sometimes. It, it just depends on what I'm, you know what I'm saying, what my vibe is, what's going on in my life, because I truly do write my life. You hear Tech say that too. The two of us, especially, we write our lives, you know? And so um, you'll hear exactly how I was feeling in the months that I, well, in the month that I was writing that song. Or have, the album, sorry. Have you picked up any new influences along the way over the last few years? Uh, you know, I listen to everything, you know? I mean, I listen to, I listen to Kendrick Lamar. I listen to Adele. You know, I listen to John Mayer. I mean, I, and then I, I, of course, I listen to Twisted. I listen to, to Twist Up. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I listen to all of these people. You know, so when you listen, I listen to Tech Nine. When you listen to all of these people, man, you know, and then I, 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 I receiving all this information, it's like your brain does, your brain files every visual, every smell, every touch, every sound, you know what I'm saying? So I use all of these things, plus just living my life. My life is the biggest influence on my rap, on my music, you know, and then I do whatever the beats tell me to do, but I also, you know, co-produce a lot of the music on my own album. So, you know, on Son of Sam, I mean, on um, uh, Kicking and Screaming, I was listening to a lot of dubstep at the time, so I started co-producing dubstep beats with Michael Seven Summers, and um, you know, so that's why you got that sound on this album. Uh, I don't know, man. I was, I was just feeling like uh, doing some more slower songs, some more meaningful stuff because I saw that I was influenced by the fans really on Son of Sam. A, a lot of people were talking about how they loved the Unstables. They loved. Um, uh, creating a monster and hello walls uh, from kicking and screaming. So I listened to that and I used that as influence. But the whole album is not that. You know, I usually I usually have my um, my fast songs kind of up front and the album kind of descends as it goes along. Has working with T Pain at all influenced some of um, your writing abilities? Like increase? Like have? I mean, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to phrase that question. Uh, uh, I, I would say anybody I work with, we're going to influence each other. Because he, T-Pain asked me to come work with him. Like, he called me and requested me to come work with him because he wanted some influence of mine. 
actually, to tell you the truth, you know. Um, and so we kind of influence each other. I wouldn't necessarily say my writing ability. I, he's he's a genius in his own right, but what we do is different, you know. So I wouldn't necessarily say it influenced my writing ability. My writing comes from here and here, you know. Um, but I'd say we influenced each other uh, in some ways, you know. Uh, you know, working with each other. He's got the same. He's got a kindred spirit. He's the same kind of guy, you know. Really, you know, he's fun loving and. He's a super creative dude, you know what I mean? So we influence each other in some ways, but I wouldn't say necessarily writing abilities. No. Is there anything else that we should look forward to after August? Uh, any more um, maybe solo tour dates or any appearances, features? Well, before August, actually, we're doing a new tour called the Summer of Strange Tour, starring Chris Calico. And it is uh, going to be uh, May Day and Stevie Stone and then myself headline in that tour. And it starts about June 5th. We haven't released any dates yet, but we are talking about it every night at these various shows. So uh, it's, uh, it's coming. And uh, then we're doing, I don't know if I can talk about the other stuff we're doing, but we got other tours. Tech and I will always tour, 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 tour. Right. But he's pulling back a little bit. They're gonna get him into some other things, maybe some movies. Uh, he also said he just wants to take time to, to be a fan and he wants to just travel and just kind of go to some concerts and take some time out with his family. So while he's doing that, I'm going to take off. You know, he's going to let Chris Collin go take the lead for a minute. That's where we're going to be, man. Strange music, man. You know, we stay busy and that's the reason why we got these hundreds of thousands of kids around the planet, you know, coming to our shows because we're always in their town. You know, every six months, you're going to see us in the city. Right. Now, I've known you personally for 10 years as of this year, okay? Right. Yeah, actually, this was the state that I first captured you guys, photography-wise. Met you a month before that in Minneapolis. But um, I've seen a lot of changes, very good changes to the shows, the reception. What have you seen change in 10 years? Uh, you know, we've definitely added more artists to the equation. A fan the other day said, man, I've been coming since it was just you three and he was speaking of me and Cut Calhoun and Tech Nine. So we definitely added more uh, artists to the arsenal. Uh, the biggest thing is that we're more popular, man, you know. And the idea that all of us had worked. The idea of, of, of uh, us operating not like a typical rap label operates worked. The idea of us giving uh, uh, ourselves to everybody and being transparent and letting everyone see how we uh, really think, how we really are, our emotions, how we feel, letting them into our lives. It worked, man, because people have these same problems that they identify with. So the popularity has grown. Really, we run it just like we did before. It's just more people know about it. We're doing the same type of quality music we've done before. It's just now more people know about it. You know, so that, I, that's what I'd say I see change. The crowd is changing. The Juggalos are here, man. You know, they always have been huge supporters of us. But one thing I would say is that I don't notice as many Juggalos painted up. I know they're there, but they're not painted up. Because we say, whoop, whoop, and they say, oh, oh. So they're still there, you know, by the, by the dozens, you know what I'm saying? Well, more than the dozens, by the tens of dozens. Uh, but I notice that. And our fan base is getting younger. As we get older, the fan base gets younger. You know what I'm saying? So those are things I notice, man. And so we will continue to grow strong, man. Continue to uh, be on this road, man. Continue to show people how to perform on that stage, dude. Anything else you want our viewers to know? That's pretty much it, man. I, you know, the, the album set of Sam on was 27. The, um, you know, the tour, uh, Summer Strange Tour, SOS Tour, and my album is SOS to coincide with that, Son of Sam. So, uh, you know, just be looking for that. Also, I've never really seen a bike like that in person. Look at that bike. Get it, Corey, on it for the next video. I've only <laughs> seen that on TV. That is incredible. That is the best thing I've ever seen, because I, I, I'm an avid cyclist now. I, I bike when I'm at home, man. I'm a bicycle. Yeah, but that's it, man, you know? Just strange music, man. We'll keep keep moving strong, man. Keep moving along, man. Catholic baby.